All right, so this is um, 5.9, number 2. A bank loaned out 22000 part of it at the rate of 4% annual interest, and the rest at 12% annual interest. The total interest earned for both loans was $1,920. How much was loaned at each rate? So this is definitely an interest problem. So remember I equals P times R times T. In this example, it's annual interest, meaning T is equal to 1. So actually, um, we don't have to worry about the T part. We're just going to concentrate on the I equals PR. Since we're trying to find, um, it, there's two answers here, and we're talking about two accounts, we have to um, set up two... You can either set it up with two equations and two unknowns, or there's actually a way to do it with just um, one equation. So I prefer the one equation way. And the way I do that is I set up a table. All right, so we have um, our P times our R. And that's going to equal the I. And then we have um, two accounts. So we'll call it account one and account two. And then you have a total. And then you just start filling it in. It says the bank loaned out 22000 Part of it went in one account, part of it went in another. So the total was 22000 So we don't know how much went in account one or in account two, but they're not necessarily the same, so we're going to give them two different variables, x and y. Um, we know that one account had a rate of 4%, so that's 0.04, and the other one at 12%, at so that's 0.12. And then um, the interest you get by multiplying p times r. But before I do that, um, let's talk about this y a little bit. I told you we could avoid having two equations. Let me show you how. Um, so you know that x, if we added the principal in each account, it would add up to be 22,000. Oops, let me try that again. I ran out of space. So x plus y equals 22,000. Well, I could solve for a y by subtracting x on both sides, and I get that y is equal to 22,000 minus x. And that's what we want to use instead of y. So I'm going to erase that y, and I'm going to put 22,000 minus x. And you don't have to go through that step every time. Hopefully, after you do it a few times, you realize that if one account has x in it and the other one, you would just take the total and subtract x to get that one. So now we're ready to multiply. So x times 0.04 would just be 0.04x. And, and 22,000 minus x times 0.12 um, would be 0.12 times 22,000 minus x. So there's still a bit of information we haven't used yet, and that's the total interest was given us given to us as $1,920. Um, so this third column here, this I column, is what we're going to use to solve, to make an equation and solve it. So we're going to shrink that up a little bit. So we take the interest in one account, 0.04x, we add it to the interest in the other one, the 0.12 times 22,000 minus x, 
and it's got to equal 1920. Now we solve for x. We can distribute that 0.12 And we get 2640. And then minus 0.12x. So it goes to both. Equals 1920. Combine the x's, the 0.12 and the 0.04. So it's 0.04 minus 0.12 is negative 0.08x plus 2640 equals 1920. Let's see if we can get a bit more space here. We're going to subtract 2640 on both sides. We get negative 0.08x equals 1920 minus 2640. So we get minus 720. And then of course the final step is to divide both sides by point, negative 0 0.08. And when you do that you get 9,000. So x equals 9,000. So you have to go back now. What was x in your table? x was the principal in the first account earning, point oh, or earning 4%. So this is what you put in for your answer at 4%. To get the other one, the 12%, we have to... Um, I'm going to circle it here in blue. Go back to that 22,000 minus x. That was the amount in the other account. So that would be 22,000 minus 9,000 is 13,000. So this is the one at 12%. So those are your two answers. I hope that helps.